his wife. Mr. Darrell Hanley, OAM, Chair of St. Leo's College Council. Ms. Trish Hanley, his wife, and the, member, and the members of the St. Leo's College Council. Mr. Stephen Foley, Head of College, his wife, Ms. Laura Bridger, all members of administration, special guests, friends of the college, my mum, dad and sister, all old boys, and of course, the current boys. Tonight is a night for us all to have a ripper time, for all the blokes who have walked the hallow halls in the past hundred years. Tonight is our night. To be the Leo's boys that we are, and do those who can't be here prayer. There is one special mention I'd like to make, however, before I get into things, and that is in memory of an old boy of 2006 to 2008, Mitch Fallon, who passed on the 1st of June of this year. His memory is honored by the boys at college with a 21 shotgun salute in the quad. His family and mates have been in our thoughts. We are also aware that there are many Leonians who can't attend tonight's celebrations due to illness. As we celebrate, we should take a moment to remember our friends who are unwell. We pray for them and their families. Most importantly, we can all assist for those who are unwell by donating blood to the Red Cross. While you're donating blood to the Red Cross, you can also add your name to the Bone Marrow Registry and if, you're in the, if you are in the age bracket of 18 to 25. More donors are needed and you can help save a life. Now I've got a couple of things to say about what it means to be a Leo's boy. Leo's is a lot of things to a lot of different people. Leo's is thunder, Leo's is lily, Leo's is the boys, but most importantly Leo's is home. From an outsider's perspective, Leo's may look like a drunken group of guys doing stuff to have fun and not care at all what comes of it. And this is pretty much true in a sense, but only to an outsider. Being a Leo's bloke is much more than that. It teaches you things that you won't learn in a toot or a lecture. Leo's boys may not necessarily learn these things through official channels, but rather in a traditional aspect passed down from the older boys to the younger boys. It may sound cliche, but the boys teach you somewhat of how to be a man. Not in a big hero stinger sense, but how to be a real man in the way you act and the way you carry yourself. You learn to deal with people that you love, and you learn to deal with people that you may not, in a way in which most people wouldn't think to. Most of all, however, Leo teaches you how to love your mates. I've learned that the love mates share is something that isn't easily given and just as equally isn't easily taken away. It's earned through having a fair bit of ticker, always bringing a shovel to have a good dig and most of all through, <laughs> most of all, through not giving up on each other when things go sideways. Sure, we may all initially become mates because we've shared a beer or two and done something stupid but it comes much more meaningful and true to the time spent when you're in a hallway, a room, or in the grotto every day and every night. This can be seen more often than you would expect. When things don't pan out in the best way for one or a few of the boys, everyone will always drop everything to be there for their mate and they'll always do what they can for them. Brotherhood may not be something that's boldly advertised or promoted by Leos at a front, but it truly is what makes Leos, Leos. And yes, from time to time, the boys will be boys and we'll, we'll do all the weird and strange stuff everyone thinks we do. But at the heart of everything we do do is a thought of each other. Whether it be on the rugby field or in the pit having a beer, we will always and we always will have, our, have each other's back and we will push each other through whatever challenge lies ahead. All of these things, although might, may sound arbitrary, form the unbreakable Leo's brotherhood that all boys, past, present and in the future will know and love and it's something we all share. To me, Leo's is a place where you rock up as a boy, scared shitless of the, what's, of the unknown of what's to come and you leave closer to the man than you were 
who's happy you went through all the adventures and challenges you do come across at Leo's. And I think a lot of you fellas feel pretty similar. Although in recent times, the boys have felt, and people also have felt, that Leo's is changing a lot from what it used to be. And it is. With a changing society, some traditions aren't seen as acceptable anymore. But there are some traditions which have been attacked and blown out of proportion, which should be and will remain left as they are. Although things may be changing, although things may be changing, there's one promise I'll make to all the old boys, and it's something all the younger fellows will have to uphold as well. The hallowed halls will continue to be graced by good blokes. The floor of the pit will stay as dirty as ever. And the boys will always find a way to have a beer on the roof. Entrees served, thank you.